Good morning. My hair, I waved it the other night with my curling iron. I just like didn't use the clamp and I hated it because it fell. That's why I don't wave my hair. I curl it with a curling iron with the clamp because it makes a big difference. So I had to recurl it this morning. Um, but hello, I'm literally still in a towel. I gotta go get dressed. I have to film today. So I have on a whole lot more makeup because when you pull out like, I mean, no matter what, like the camera, even if I just use a camera and the lights, like your makeup, it just, it can really wash you out. So I gotta put on all the heavy makeup today. Um, and we are gonna get to filming. I have like a good Target holiday, like try on haul. Um, and then I have a couple other things to film. So it's gonna be a good day, gonna be a busy day. But I wanted to first start off this vlog by saying thank y'all so much for all the sweet comments, like from the last vlog, sharing like the postpartum depression and postpartum rage that I went through after Roman. Um, to be completely honest, like if you looked at the dates of when that video went live, I mean, it just went live like a couple days ago. I filmed that like early November and the clips from my fallopian tube surgery were October 3rd. So it was like, I still struggled even knowing that I was like on the other side of it. It was still hard to admit it again. And like I had admitted it on Instagram. It's just, it was such a tough dark time. So to be on the other side of it, I feel so good and I'm so thankful. Um, but y'all's messages just got me. Like I was just like in a puddle last night reading them. Um, Cause you guys are just the best. So I always say I have like the best internet family in the world. So I'm very, very thankful for you guys and all the love that you showed me um, after that. But we are on the other side of it. And I truly don't feel like I have any leftover postpartum hormones. I got my period back at night with postpartum, but I got my period last week. And that was the second one that I've had since my fallopian tube removal and it was super easy. So um, the surgery itself didn't impact that at all. My hormones are regular. I just feel really good. So um, I am thinking I'm gonna wait until January to kind of go to the doctor. I do think I'm gonna get back on anxiety medication because I just have mild anxiety just in general. When did I start college? 2013 to 2021 i went off of it i slowly weaned whenever we were trying to have ezra actually so um i was on it for many many years but it feels good to be back at this place i do just have anxiety so i'm gonna wait make sure my hormones are fully regulated and then january i'll go and talk to the doctor so um i have a lot to do today so much and i also have to probably call carmax at some point in time because your girl um, your girl is getting a new car. So I have talked about this on Instagram a ton and I mentioned it months ago. And I was like, I don't even think we lived in this house. That's how long ago it was. Like, I think the house was being built. I know I was pregnant with Ro because that was what brought it up, but we just don't fit in my car. I have a Nissan Altima and I absolutely love it. It's paid off and has been since 2020. It's such a good, reliable car, has never given me any crazy big issues. Um, <clears throat> and so I have just loved that car, but when we got pregnant with Ro, we knew we needed to probably upgrade because my car is just maxed out. And like, if we go to Sam's club now, like we have to play Tetris with everything in the car with two car seats in the trunk. And so I mentioned months ago that I was looking at the Nissan Armada Platinum because I like my Nissan. And then a bunch of you guys were like, no, look at the Ford Expedition Max. So uh, I kind of went back and forth about those for a really long time. And I was like leaning towards the Nissan Armada Platinum. I was like, that's totally gonna be it. I love it, it's a beautiful car. And I happened to look inside of one one day, like we were coming home and we had stopped at this light and it was us and then the Nissan Armada Platinum. Like it was the exact kind, everything. I could like see the features inside because they didn't have, at least Nissans I know like standard do not have a lot of dark tint. I don't know if that's all cars, but like I know that a lot of Nissans don't have dark tint so I could see everything. I was like, oh, it's just such a pretty interior. We both happened to stop at the same place. And so I told Sam, I was like, I wanna watch this woman get out of her car. Like, it's really creepy, but I wanna watch her get out of her car. She ended up going in the back, getting some things. And I was like, that car doesn't look much bigger than mine. So although the whole car itself is bigger, the inside wasn't much bigger. So I ended up finding a website, my dad found it, that shares the specs of the car itself. Yeah, it was like hardly any bigger inside than my car. And if I'm gonna take on a new car payment after I've paid off a car for years, like it needs to be worth the growth. So I started looking at the Ford Expedition Max and I fell in love. So I'll show it to you. I have it. It's 
She's so pretty. Um, I found it at CarMax. We do used cars only in this family. And my dad has bought like seven cars from CarMax since I was like in middle school. I mean, he's been buying literally every car we've ever purchased, whether it was like our cars when we were in high school or his cars, my mom's car, like it does not matter. He has always bought them from CarMax. So I looked there and sure enough, I found this one. Look at how pretty. It's white. One of you guys joked on Instagram, you said hot moms drive white SUVs. And I love you for that. And like, look at the inside. It's a pretty tan interior leather. It has air conditioned seats. I feel so cool. So I'm really excited about it. And look at the trunk. Look at that trunk space. So that's it with the third row up. That's the third row down. Oh, I'm so excited. So I got the notification this morning. It's in Charlotte. We obviously needed to get to Greenville. It was coming from Jacksonville. So hopefully it's in today or tomorrow, but very excited. Um, so that's why I kind of have to get to like, also I need to get moving and get stuff done for work because I am not gonna go sit at a dealership for 12 million hours. I'm not doing it. My dad has done this in the past with CarMax. He'll, be, he'll call him ahead of time. He'll fill out everything he needs to fill out. He goes in, he's like, I don't want extra warranties. I don't want extra radio stuff. I don't want extra this, I don't want extra that. I want the car as is, I want to sign for it and it's like a quick process. So that's what we're gonna do, is we're basically just gonna be like, nope, we're not gonna be here for hours, let's go, let's get this Let's get this move in. So um, yeah, really excited. Hopefully gonna call them though and get all that done. We're trading in Sam's car. It's, I, okay, I've talked enough, just, you get it? I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, I've got hay going in the background. I'm trying to just get this clean. Just did a quick closet clean out with my mom. I don't even know where I can like, where I should put you guys. And then I wanted to show a follower of mine opened an Etsy shop and so I went and bought these. I got two XLs, yeah, in both. Cause y'all know I love me a good oversized shirt. So this one says, happy birthday, Jesus. Hold on, toddler took off in the better. Hey, stay out of there. Okay, and then I bought this one that says, ho, ho, ho on it. And it's got Christmas. Oh, it's Merry Christmas at the bottom. It's got Santa, I mean. Did you just put those on my sofa? All right, I gotta go. I just, I, I, I had good intentions here. I gotta go. Mom has the boys. <laughs> Four months sleep progression is tough, but last night was actually a really good night for it. Um, but we woke up. Ezra has like an old model of the hatch and it is the most irritating thing, especially when you compare it to Romans. It is so easy like they made a lot of changes i don't know if we just like registered for a super old model or why but it's annoying um but the four month sleep regression is like so tough and last night he did great ish so he woke up at one three and then didn't wake up again so that's a huge blessing when you are going through it so today we're gonna do dear santa i tried um, I think that's what we're doing, right? Best creamer of all time. So I have soft tanner on clearly by the fact that I look insane. I haven't washed it off yet. Put it on last night. It's the platinum, I'll show it to you. It is more for like an experienced self tanner because it dries down a little quicker. It's a little bit of a deeper color. Um, I'm not sure if Mariah 15 still works. I'll link it in the description bar below. But usually with Loving Tan, I can get like a, it's like free shipping and a mitt. I believe a tanning mitt, but it's such a good self tanner. Like it's, honestly, I've been using Loving Tan since 2019, I think. I don't think I used it right around my wedding, but I know I was like really into self tanning right around one of my girlfriend's weddings because I knew her and her sister were really into it. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna look like a crazy pale person if I go up there and they're all tan and I'm not. So I got really into it and I just fell in love with it. But now I've got so much to do, you guys. Like it's insane. So. I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday, but 
we have had some issues with FedEx not taking things off the truck. So like if things get shipped in multiple boxes, they're not bringing all the boxes. And there's a, a guy who drives like the smaller van style. I've been trying to catch our, the big truck person just to like see if, you know, there's a way I can get a hold of anybody. Um, because there was one thing that I know they intentionally left off and we're having the company ship it again. But then two, I cannot get the Home Depot information to update at all on this, uh, the gift I got Sam. And it was one of those, like it's a chainsaw and chainsaw fluid and an extra chain and an extra battery. And so it shipped in like a couple boxes and I can't get any of the tracking information to update, but I received one box the other day. It's right there. And it said two of two on it. And I was like, okay, crap. So does that mean like you left the other one on the truck? Or does it mean that, you know, it's it coming? Like, I don't know. So I've got to get a hold of somebody because it also still just says it's on its way. It doesn't even say out for delivery, nothing. And so since there's two shipping numbers, like it doesn't even say one of them is delivered. So I gotta, yeah, we gotta figure that out because I am a little bit stressed because literally two things Sam asked for for Christmas, two of them. So far I've had issues with shipping two of them. The fifth, we're, we're, we are getting down to the wire if I don't want like, you know, to really be stressing. All right, my friends, I am getting ready for the day and I think I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. I have really been talking about this one brand on my Instagram stories. I briefly mentioned them in a YouTube video. I did get a little bit of makeup um, I briefly mentioned them in my, it was my prime day video, I believe. And <clears throat> I was influenced to try their products on TikTok. I bought one of their, one of their things like all by myself. No one like sent anything to me. I was just totally influenced by it all by myself. And I ended up completely falling in love with it. Mentioned it in a prime day video. They reached out and they were like, hey, we'd like to send you more stuff, no obligation. Like, just let us know. I was like, sure. You guys, this brand knows hair, unlike any brand I have ever experienced in my life. And I'm not talking just eyebrow hair. I am talking, which is actually, that's the first product I shared is this amplifying serum that both lengthens and thickens your brow hair. So if you're like going through the struggle like I personally have really, really thin, like sparse hairs that are blonde at the top from where I over plucked and over waxed for years. And I've just been on this regrowth journey and I feel like finally this is like actually letting my brows return to their natural size. And they're one color, like I have absolutely loved this product. Um, but they also have products for your hair that make your hair shiny. They also have products for your lashes. Like I have just been so in love with this brand and now there's this that i'm in love with i bought it myself this they didn't send me this it's the bay brow volumizing brow filler so this is it looks a little crazy right there on camera i need to fill in that one it actually has little fibers in it and it fills in your freaking brows like this stuff is so cool i got the color auburn um so i'm gonna link that for y'all because if you need a good um brow product Oh my gosh, if you need a good hair product, like anything that this company so far has made, I have been floored with. They know hair, they know hair growth. So I'll link them for y'all. And then I think we're gonna call it here cause I gotta, I really have a lot to do today and I can't be all chatty. So thank y'all for watching the vlog. I look a little crazy just cause I don't have the rest of my eye makeup on. Um, I also will link the lash serum. I don't wanna get like too crazy close. Can you guys like, can you see? You can't, you can't see. I'll put a picture up of what my natural, natural, no mascara, no product, no lash curler, nothing. That's what they look like after using a new lash serum that one of you guys told me about. I've just been so impressed lately. So that's kind of where we're at and what we're doing and I'll link everything. Thank y'all for watching. It does really feel good to be back um, to vlogging and talking to you guys and I just, I love y'all so much and I'm so thankful for um, the, the sweet messages on my last vlog. So I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.